is with that Rideau guy? He's repulsive. He reminds me a bit of the way you used to be. How dare you? To even suggest that I used to be like that is... Well, fairly accurate, I suppose. In those days, I killed many people for the sake of justifying my existence. But all I really wanted was an escape from the insecurity of my own loneliness. Muse. It's a past you must never forget. I know that. I guess I have no business criticizing Rideau. Do you think Rideau is lonely like that too? I imagine so. He probably wanted to prove his worth to people like Julius and Beasley. So he feels the way you once felt towards Mila. That's quite likely. Those who don't value others are doomed to flounder in loneliness. I only wish Rideau could see that. Expressing sympathy for an enemy? <laughs> You've changed. I must have caught the nice guy virus from you know who. Or nice spirit, in my case. Is it okay to leave Ivor behind like that? Ivor has been my handmaid since the day he was born. He's devoted his entire life to me. I couldn't bear to impose my will upon him any longer. Especially when you're not long for the human realm yourself. I must admit it has been difficult managing without him. Like selecting my clothes. I've always relied on him for that. I made this outfit myself based on garments that Ivor created for me in the past. They look great on you. Isn't that right, Gaius? Why would you ask me? Don't you agree that they suit her well? Well, <clears throat> um... Muse and the Four helped me work out the design. But I suppose it's still a far cry from Ivor's best efforts. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that as king, I must exercise prudence in expressing my personal opinions. Then what would be your opinion as a mere civilian, Erston? <clears throat> uh, as a gentleman, it would be uncouth of me to pass judgment on a lady's personal appearance. Uh, but if I must, it is elegant. Huh? Elegant? I'm pleased to hear it. So the 28 design committee meetings I held with the four were of some value after all. I guess it isn't easy being the Lord of Spirits either. Isn't Gaius just adorable? Luger, my brother. Bakur now holds the key of Kresnik, and with El in the palm of his hands, we unfortunately only have one option left. A powerful member of our family must give his life to unfold the bridge to Canaan, and pave the way for another. That, I'm afraid, is the final trial that we face in front of us. A sacrifice to build the Soul Bridge. I'm waiting at Riza Harbor in Marksburg, Come find me when you've steeled yourself. When you know what you must do. Hey. If you don't mind, can you tell us the contents of his letter? Maybe El had already figured out that a human sacrifice was the only ticket into the land of Canaan. There's a secret to entering Canaan, and I possess it. The life of a Kresnik. Correct? She must have concluded that you'd be the one sacrificed to build the bridge. <laughs> Before we proceed further, there is something I must know. Do you believe you are capable of sacrificing your own brother in order to reach the land of Canaan? Gaius! I have no choice. Very well. Then let us go too. Surprise! 
Guess who's not here to bug you about your silly payments? We need to celebrate your newfound freedom from crushing debt! Uh-oh... You guys look even more depressed than usual. Um, Nova... Sorry, but I'm afraid we'll be gone for a while. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we can put this party on hold, but not for too long. I mean, isn't Julius back too? I bought tomatoes for him and everything! <laughs> Luger? What? What did I say this time? Just need to hold out a little longer. You came. What's that? What you see there is a soul bridge. Beastly just entered the land of Canaan. Don't tell me he used El! No, she's his weapon against Kronos. I'm guessing that Rideau, unfortunately, got the honor. Damn. Beastly never saw Rideau and I as anything more than tools for creating the bridge. That's just the sort of man he is. Why the hell is this required to get to Canaan? <laughs> Another way to test the nature of humans, I suppose. Sorry. But surely humans and spirits can learn about each other without having to resort to this. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, Maxwell. But it seems like Origin thinks otherwise. <laughs> Don't feel too badly for me. Transformation has progressed that far? I'm a dead man no matter what. At least this way, my death will mean something to someone. Use my life. Let me be your path to the land of Canaan. I'll do it. Julius, I'll use your life to build the bridge. So you're ready. If that's the case... Let me be your big brother one last time. I need to see for myself if you're strong enough to see this through. Wait! Stop! We have no right to intervene in their fight. Sorry about the entrance exam. This time, the test is real! That's not good enough, Luger. You're never going to achieve victory like that. Not against our family's curse. Not against Beasley. Your desire fuels the Chromatics. It won't grant power unless you want it. Do you have what it takes? I shall test your soul.
Yikes, look at the time. Gotta move. Not so fast. You know I can't stand dressing up. Well, you need to learn to stand it. Maybe someday. You're impossible. Oh, now I'm really late. I'll make pasta margarita for dinner tonight, okay? <sighs> still trying to butter me up with tomatoes. It works, but still. What's up? Forget something? Oh. <laughs> I sure wish I could have eaten one last pasta margarita. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. There are worse things than being dragged around by your brother. You're the one who showed me that. <laughs> Go on, Luger. Now it's your turn to look after someone special. Go and create your perfect world. <laughs> You can cry if you want to. No need to be ashamed. <laughs> if you tell him it's okay to cry, he'll just choke back the tears even more. How do you know? Because Jude was the same way when he was a kid. Now why are you crying? Because Julius... I'm sure he gave his brother a pat on the back before departing. So Luger could step forward in life with courage in his heart. I know these things. I'm an elder sister, after all. Luger! Um... Well, look at the bright side, kid. Now you can get out there and save El. Elvin! You cold-hearted Claude! Have a heart! At times like this, you gotta keep walking forward. Nothing good will come from looking back. Even if it's for a moment. Am I right? I guess you have a point. Let's go and save Elle. We'll help you! Don't carry all the guilt on your shoulders. In the end, we were all accomplices in this. Yes.
Luger, you did very well. I cannot agree more. After all, destroying a world is burden enough. But this time it's unimaginable. Over the course of my career, I took the lives of thousands of soldiers. When you consider each soldier's potential, what I did was little different than destroying a world. <clears throat> I am well aware of my sins, but at the same time, I also believe this. The destruction I wrought paved the way for new things to be born. It's the same here. It arose when you and the others destroyed the closed-off world of Riza Maxia. Precisely why it is my responsibility to safeguard the future of this world. Same here. Luger, this world isn't out of danger yet, but you and Julius have given it the possibility of being saved. Now we must do everything in our power to turn that possibility into reality. We forced you to play a painful role. I'm so sorry. I wish we could have done something. What did Julius say at the end? Create your perfect world. A world made to your liking. That would be a world with L in it, right? Then I'll do everything I can to help build it. That's my vow to Julius. We'll save her. <laughs> Every human being has the potential, not just to destroy worlds, but to create them as well. Kronos, Origin, know this is why I fight, why I put my faith in humanity. Let's go. This bridge just might vanish like the old one did. Not this time. Julius is holding it up for us. Hey. You go first. After all, this bridge was built for none other than you. <laughs> 